guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves another title. So the Great Ape Vegeta, uh, Raditz, and Kid Goku EZA has got a title for us to grab, which should be fairly easy because we could use a ridiculously dominant category team to get it. Now, after the seventh anniversary, I mean, look at the additions to this team. We have four units, right? who weren't on global when this uh, EZA dropped. Um, so getting the stage 77 with these ridiculously powerful units is an absolute and utter joke. Um, even at this point, I feel like I could still pretty much just auto it, and we're going to absolutely disintegrate this. Uh, oh, let me actually turn this off. Well, I can play this. I always do forget to, uh, like, have these. Sometimes I like to play them. Sometimes the skip is good. Oh, my God. This rotation, dude. Are you kidding me? What, what is this rotation? Uh, actually, we'll keep the active skill skip off. Um, <laughs> what a horrible rotation, man. Come on. Uh, I was just going to say, like, I I'm using the LR Super Saiyan Force. Um, the main reason I'm using them is their defensive ability and then just they're the leader of this team, right? Like, we're I'm basically running... GT hero, but then they're all on grid eight power, giant eight power, so we're getting the, the special, you know, like bonus to attack right here. Um, the problem is that this EZA's got 80% damage reduction against physical, so they themselves are not really doing damage. Um, I have three physical units on the team here who are essentially just supporting our main heavy hitters. And of course, see, like, look at Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, man, he's too good. That's this is nothing, even though it's type disadvantage, dude. Uh, these LR Super Saiyan 4s, after they easy 8 they're just so stupid. Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and Goku, like, they're, like, they're so good. It's stunning to me, shocking to me, that they dropped uh, the third year anniversary Vegito and Gogeta, like, only weeks apart from the Super... The Super Saiyan 4s are so much better than the third year anniversary LRs, it's insane. Um, I, I feel like there's, there's, uh, people might not agree with me or might be surprised at that, but... The third year anniversary LRs, I mean, if they're not transformed, or if you're not getting value out of that transformation heal, they just, I am just not really that impressed with them, right? Again, it's like, I feel like a lot of times I'm going in the red zone, it's like, yeah, I, I really want to run them for sure, because of the fact that I really want that heal. The heal is so valuable, right? Or you, a full heal when you transform with them, which, you know, in something like the red zone, even if you're just trying to beat it with items, you only get two items in your support memory. So, like, you know, this full heal that they give is just so powerful. But besides that, and then, like, you know, their effectiveness once they're actually in um, their fuse state, I, I just don't really go get too impressed with them. I feel like they are not good enough defensively. What's funny is the cord messed up for me, but I'm just stuck in loading anyway. Um, I, the third anniversary LRs, they're just not... Look, look at this. Ah, damn it, I guess... Oh, okay, there we go. All right, we're back. <laughs> Whatever. I, I guess it, the loading is fun sometimes over here on JP Dokkan. It's like, there's a lot of great things about playing JP, um, but then once it comes to the loading times, those, of course, are not great. And a lot of times, the loads are really quite enough. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? This is instant death. This This will be a fast one. <laughs> Um, I will do this, because this is still going to allow Super Saiyan 4 go- No, it didn't- Oh, no, I'm a Muppet, I suck at this game, oh! Actually, I could have played that, but I should have just given- I, I should have put Super Saiyan 4 Goku in slot 1, and should have just given him all the key, whatever. It, 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 I mean, it doesn't matter, we're not going to take damage anyway. Alright, well, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta got a crit, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is also really good, right? He's he got his easy. he's another one of these 7th anniversary units. Um, as impressive as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is, though, um, I, well, I mean, I actually don't really have too much negative to say about him. He's really, really good. Ah, oh, this, I feel like, like, we're, we're getting pretty unlucky in the way, like, the rotations play out. Um, sometimes Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta can struggle for key for a little bit, right? Because remember, he's carrying Fuse Fighter, which the LR Super Saiyan 4s do not have. And he's carrying Shocking Speed, which the uh, EZA LR Super Saiyan 4s do not have, right? 
So it's like, no matter which other Super Saiyan 4 unit, like, on the main team right now, he's not linking up with some of them. And this is both the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Both of them have this issue where they're sort of being held back. Ooh, that's probably a title for, like, Grade A Power or something like that. By the way, remember that there still are titles um, for clearing all of these, like, just, it's like, I think Battlefield counts. And basically, everything except for, like, World Tournament counts, I think. Um, actually, World Tournament probably does count as well, since it counts, like, all the different times you've used them. World Tournament does factor in. I guess it's probably just anywhere, right? But it, it's how many times you've used each category team. There's titles for 10, 100, and 300, right? I'm definitely trying to get all the titles. Hopefully, they'll eventually make them do something. I mean, they could just simply add to your account power level. Oh my god, what a novel concept. So crazy that they add in this power level system, but then they don't have, like... Uh, this will be a lot better right there. They add in this power level system, but then when they add titles with it, they don't think, Oh my gosh, why don't we uh, have those increase your power level too, right? Like, that's one thing they could do. They could also go down the Dragon Ball Legends route with it. And imagine... Like, these titles would give you a small amount of stats, right? So, like, okay, we're going for the Great Apes Stage 77 Easy Ape. What if it gave Giant Ape Power category characters just, like, an extra 50 defense? Not that much, but, like, any time you use one of these characters, they get an extra 50 defense to their, their stats. Again, it's not the craziest number of all time, but it could be something where you start to earn these titles and your uh, account will just be massively powered up, right? Like, imagine... So, again, there's three titles. So, imagine, I don't know, for getting... What is it? It's stage 30, 50, and 77. Stage 30, you know, your grade 8 power characters get 100 HP. Uh, stage 50, your grade 8 power characters get, like, 50 attack. And then stage 77, they get, like, 50 defense. And what I mean by 50, I'm saying, like, just the direct stat, right? Like, I think if they did that... That would be pretty meaningful, too, because you're, like, really grinding for something. You're, again, powering your characters up. So, again, when I'm saying that, like, 50 defense, like, I would say, like, you'd get an extra 50 to these stats right here. And it's something, like, where it's, it does, like, by itself, it doesn't mean that much. But when you go through the huge amount of titles that there are and are available, if, like, they're all just buffing, like, random stats, you know, it could even be something, like use characters named Goku, I don't know, just like so they base form Goku like 500 times, and then you get like 100 to all of his stats or something like that, that would, dude, that would be a good way for them to handle it. That would be fun. So it's like you're definitely like actively seeking out getting all these titles because you're strengthening your characters. Right now, the titles don't actually do anything. Oh, dude, I actually might do, I might make that a separate video. That's, I feel like that's a really good idea, right? Like, just buffing your stats with these titles. Like, that would be incredible if you're able to actually get those types of stat buffs. Um, here, let's do this. I'm going to put GT Vegeta in slot 1. We'll have you go like that. Then we'll put LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in slot 2. Um, the reason is because then he'll get legendary power activated and all these links right here. And then we could do that. Yeah, dude, I really like that because that's what Legends does, right? Like, you know, there's titles for, you know, getting highly ranked in PvP or, you know, grinding up free-to-play characters. You know, there was, there's old titles for doing, like, the story events, like, just, like, an ungodly amount of times, right? Like, you could completely max out everything in the story event, I don't know, after, like, a hundred runs. And then it's, like, you could go up to, like, a thousand runs where, it, it, you know, you could still upgrade these titles. And it gives you extra stats, which even carry over into PvP. So it's, like, if Legends is going to do that, I don't see why Dokkan can't when it's PvE, right? And, again, that just adds more fun to the game because now there's just an extra thing. Like, oh, let me use this category team this many times. It also would incentivize people using different teams and characters in a way that might help alleviate the problem of the friend system. Although, hopefully just an outright fix will be coming for the friend system. Uh, that's that's we, that's what we want, right? We want the, the friend system to just be outright, like, completely changed. Like, there's just so much they could do and should do to sort of get this friend system back on track, right? Um, and again, we'll see, right, when they're going to decide to do anything like this. But here we go. This will be our last one. And then we got the stage 77 title. 
uh, all locked up right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at it, and then we'll finish up. Again, I'm probably going to do one of these for all of the ECAs, just get the Stage 77. At least sort of, like, show the setups that I'm using. A lot of these ECAs, it's possible to get into, like, hundreds on a lot of them, right? Like, I know people are getting to, like, AGL Broly's ECA. People are finally getting to, like, Stage 999. So, like, there's just... It's just not hard to get to Stage 77 comparative to, like, getting super deep in a lot of these to, so like, into the hundreds and billions and zillions and stuff like that. So, all right, let's go ahead and see here. Um, and we got our new title right... This one is down here? Yeah, this one is down here. Yeah, because it came out on Global. This is when it came out on Global back down here when they made it. So, boom, we got that. Yep, Stage 30, Stage 50, and Stage 77. We got it. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.